Hey everyone, welcome to Diet.com Video Spotlight. I'm Sarah, your host. This week it was reported that an ingredient found in olive oil may keep off hunger pangs. That's right, a simple little ingredient helps keep you feeling fuller longer, so therefore you can actually extend the amount of time in between meals. And now for all of you who are so confused about how much exercise is enough from week to week, you can now thank the government for clearing that all up. This week, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services released the Physical Activity Guideline for Americans, recommending at least two and a half hours of moderate aerobic activity and at least an hour a day for children. Now, the last time the government issued a recommendation for how much exercise Americans should be getting, they said that on most days, get at least 30 minutes of physical activity. If you have little time during the week, don't worry. You can still reap the benefits from physical activity since now, they say it's the level of effort and cumulative time spent that really counts. As most of you all know, our economy is not doing so well. If you're looking for some extra cash, why not participate in a clinical trial? We found one right here in Boston whose benefits include seven to eight months of prepared meals, a personalized weight loss program, and $2,500. That's not bad if you ask me, you lose weight and you get paid. To check out the options in your area, visit centerwatch.com and click on trial listings. And check this out, the New York City Health Department wants you to know that the number of calories you take in at lunch might be more than half the total number you should be consuming for the entire day. The new ad campaign is reminding adults to limit their caloric intake to 2,000 calories a day and can be seen on about 20% of the Big Apple's subway cars. Here in Boston, we don't yet have the calories listed on our fast food chain menus, but if you guys are from New York, we wanna hear from you and your opinion on the listing and the information right in your face. Have you actually changed what you used to order? Do you think that you're making smarter decisions? Well, right below in the comments. We hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe to Diet Health for all the most recent health and diet news and free fitness videos every week. See you next time.